Welcome again to this new episode of The Campsite Artist. This time for a place that I never visited before. And I'm wondering why? Because it's so close to the city and at the same time you feel so far away. It's a lovely wooded park, a wonderful place, part of the Santa Cruz Mountains with almost 4,000 acres of redwood with camping, picnic, RV, hiking, trails. This park has all the amenities and again, I don't know what I never came here. It's very, very beautiful. Just a little disappointed that uh, the RV spaces are very limited, very close one to another. I can live with that. What it really disappoints to me is those spaces doesn't have a fire rings, but you can go uh, camping hiking and they have fire rings. We're gonna take a look very soon at that. Now the road to get here is quite steep and curved, but you know, to get these places you have to live the stress in the city and come slowly and with caution so you will arrive safely so welcome guys uh, to this new episode from Sanborn County Park so th there comes the entrance comes all the entrance around there and then you get to these parking lots that I think is designed for the people that go camping hiking in you can come here load everything in your car and you have to walk uphill to camping those are tent uh, camping only so like I say you can park your car and come here take one of these carts and go camping uphill so here you have a very beautiful meadow very nice view so are you right you're gonna have all the parking lot for uh, hiking camping and at your left all these spaces for RV camping. Okay, so it's only 15 campsites for the RVs. All of them with water and electrical hookup. So if you come in an RV, you can have a disposal here too. Very convenient. An RV dump station. People leave things here. Uh, there's a bottle. This kind of box is very valuable for uh, start the fire. But we cannot make fire here. So how about if we use this recycle and make some art let's make some art of it i'm going towards the hiking campgrounds here's one spot it's a beautiful forest for example here you got one tent site this campsite here, if you want to come on tent, is a beautiful choice. Number nine, have your firing, your table, locket storage, and then it's beautiful forest just next to you. This is a real example of a male tree. I really like how all those uh, little stones receive the light of the sun crossing the forest. Let's take a picture of this. Here's a, like a, a little amphitheater with bench and a stage to dance or make some art show maybe you like to sing whatever show you have in mind okay guys behind me you can see the restrooms that are in front of the space 33 31 32 i think but to be honest and give you a good review about this if you're planning to come here you should come very very lightweight because to carry that car with heavy stuff up to here will make you sweat guys it's a very very slopey stupid hiking up to here so my recommendation honestly you should not go beyond the campsite 24 and up it's too hard i don't know who planned this campground but it should be vehicle accessible at least with a roundabout 
Look, th there's many, many spaces. Maybe put a little more asphalt there and the vehicles can come here and load it and going back. That's simple. That campsite over there is very nice, but I, like I said, getting here is gonna be a work, guys. There is the campsite 26. Just to give you an example. There's the fire ring, your table, and plenty of space to set up your tent. Now, the another question is, see how good it is here? This is a fire risk, and they have fire rings. So why not the RV's campsite have a fire ring? Someone has to explain that to me, because a camping without fires is like a, an RV resort. Okay guys, let's start to do some art here. So I'm gonna use all these uh, cardboard boxes and we're gonna do something very creative with it. that I choose to paint this time um, that is the rocks all the rot with the moss in the forest all those very uh, shiny moss because the light of the Sun goes uh, all over all these these rocks I'm trying to put in place all the elements, right? The trees and the rocks and and the plants, all those little things that makes the details. Also, uh, this is very important. This uh, this hill here, so that gives the impression that it's not on level. That is a 
uh, slopey terrain. So nature can be a chaos, but a very organized uh, chaos. Every piece, every element, every rock is in the place that it is, in the place that it has to be. Okay guys, so at least I have done the sketch and also the base of my painting. Of course, this is going to be a very dark paint. All those white parts will be um, the um, lighting green. Okay guys, so I have been working uh, on my new painting, uh, but uh, also waiting until outside get dark. So now it's... Um, it's dark outside, it's night already, so let's do this showtime with my another cardboard art. Hope you like it, guys. Okay, guys, the time has come. So this is it. This is my new piece of art, and you guys gonna let me know what do you think. If you think that I did well, give me a like and share this video. So do you know who is? Okay guys, you let me know if you think that I did a good job. I could say with authority that this is a beautiful day. Look around. Well, yesterday it was the camp host was my neighbor here with the air little airstream, and that's it. And look now, it's full of people. See all those big sequoias in the back there, looks beautiful. Honestly, this is a very beautiful park. And I think it's okay for a uh, camp to hiking for the day, it's perfect. Came to picnic for the day, also is perfect. But, and the maps, Everything looks beautiful, but in the reality, if you, you're planning to go to the high king campground, if you arrive a Friday, for example, to spend one night here, and your park, and load all your gear, go and grab the cart, put everything in the car, then go up set up your camp, spend the night, and next morning you have to go. You know, that's traumatic. It, it, it's gonna be a, a bad experience for, for kids, for women. It, it's not nice, it's not enjoyable. So I think if you camp for more than one night, it's worth it, because it's a lot of work. I have been there. My other point of view, if you came here and you just backpacking for the night or for two nights up there in the hill in those campgrounds, I think it's worth it because when you are backpacking, you are 
carrying the minimum, minimum, minimum gear to spend your stay. Otherwise, like I said, it's just came to suffering. It's a lot of work. I think the time that you are enjoying your camping trip has to be bigger than traveling and set up and carrying all the stuff. It has to be bigger than that to, to worth it, you know what I mean? If not, I mean, why you came to work and suffering? Well, I will continue to enjoy my coffee and enjoying this beautiful view. Finally, no rain. I'm so happy. I just finished breakfast um, in this beautiful, beautiful day. And I would like to take a moment to invite you guys to get my uh, new book. This is my first book on English version. And I would like uh, to invite you guys to acquire and try to get it on the Amazon platform, The Daughter of Africa, the English version of La Hija de Africa. You will not be disappointed. So I'm gonna leave the description down below so you can uh, get access to get my new English version, The Daughter of Africa. Y le pegan a la red. Si, si, subscribe to mi channel. Ahí, ahí, ahí está mi website en YouTube. Ahí está mi website. Y si tú vas a mi website, ahí tengo muchos. Y si, sí, yo, yo voy a muchos eh, campgrounds y, y visito muchas partes. Y a donde voy, yo pinto lo que, lo que veo. No, si. Sí. Y hago otro tipo de arte. En, en, en este campground, si lo ven yeah. y me dan un like y, sí. y comparten, anoche hice otro tipo de arte. Okay. Pero tienen que ver el video para ver qué arte hice. Yeah. Okay. Porque yeah. es, un, es un arte con luz. Ok. En la noche. So, it's your first time here, guys? Yes. What do you think about this park? I love it. You know, the tall trees. Like Huge the, red with trees, yeah, huh? With the nature, you know. So, so you, you guys are camping here or just no, for the day? For yeah, where wh wh you went today? Uh, Up to the lake? Sunborn Trail to the up to the. Oh, you guys yeah. brave. Yeah, it's like a one hour trail. Yeah, um, yeah, but it's very steepy. It's, right? It's okay. So. <laughs> Hope you guys come camping someday. Yeah. Right? Thank you. Of course. Like, okay. I, I really enjoy it. So what, what do you think about my painting right now? It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. It's better than what I see from Fantastic. my eye, you know. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So this is Sanborn County Park. I hope you enjoy your stay. Yeah. Thank you. And subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to the campsite artist. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, guys. OK, guys, I think I'm done for today. Here's the painting. I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe, like, and of course, please share. Share, share to your friends uh, in your social media.
share my work. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. I'm exhausted. Woo! That was a hike. Oh, it was so hard. Not too long, but super steep. So, ah, one more, one more effort. One more effort, guys. Let's see. Is this craziness adventure worth it? What is here? Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Come on, people. Look at it. Just look at it. Oh. It's a small reservoir, but it looks so beautiful. I'm about to start to paint again. Oh yes. Small lake, but like I said, very, very uh, peaceful and quiet. They say, they say that here you can watch a kind of eagle that is Nowhere in the world. And I see, I see some bird right there. Maybe I'm gonna be lucky. Wow, look, in the top of the tree, I see another big bird that looks like an eagle. I don't know, I have to research what kind of eagle is. Yeah, that big frog. Subscribe to the campsite artist. Thank you guys, have a nice day. <laughs> I'm gonna take a rest, drink some water. What a beautiful tree is this. And it's full of moss, like my rocks in the painting. Yeah, from this way? Yeah. yeah. Very steep, yeah. Very yeah. steep, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. It was a long and hard hiking up to the reservoir. Um, but it was a beautiful, beautiful place to visit. So I just changed my shirt because it was all sweat, wet with the workout. <laughs> I'm ready to go home in my air supply, the air supply. And I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to subscribe, to share my work in your social media with your friends and subscribe to my channel so thanks for watching see you